So we've been in Patagonia for about six days now, but it's been really horrible weather, just super, super windy every day. And uh, we just made up to Nipponina now and set up a base camp and behind us is the tide, which is really windy, but amazing to finally be here. Now we just got here yesterday and uh, we're gonna head off to the stand up. Uh, Exit sat on the stand up today, but it was really miserable this morning. And tomorrow's meant to be a better day anyway, so we thought we'd, we'd sit it out. And today it's clearing out nicely. The wind's pretty low for Patagonian standards, it's really cool. And just up behind us is Cerro Toy, so we're just sleeping below that, which is an amazing, amazing mountain. And in front of us is Fitzroy, so it's a pretty awesome place to be, really cool. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. Pitch of the X set chimney. It was pretty mad, pretty cool. Sorry, in all its glory. This view of the ice cap is incredible. I mean, I've got no idea what I'm looking at, but it's all pretty amazing. So, we got back late last night from Sarah Stand Up after doing exercise and woke up this morning at 8 o'clock and the weather had closed in. Today, we're planning on sort of stashing our kit and uh, heading off back down to town again. but. Yeah, now everything's soaking wet and uh, we're trying to find some boulders in which you can hide some stuff underneath and get on with a four hour walk back to town, but it's really minging outside.
Set. We've just been sitting around in Al Shartan just waiting for a weather window. And the first one is this one you can see around us now, which is meant to be about 24 hours, 30 hours long. So we're just walking up now to Nipponino and then uh, we've got to decide whether you want to go on Super Canada on Fitzroy or do something a bit, a bit more manageable in this small time frame we've got. So last night we made the call to not get on Super Canaletta and they go for our plan B as we just thought with the mass amount of snow it's just fallen and the short weather window we're just going to have a complete nightmare on it and trying to get down again and um, yeah it's been good so far it's been six hours to get to here of a huge amount of snow wading really deep snow on the way up and the winds the winds have definitely picked up as of a couple of hours ago we we're nicely sheltered just here
Mountain Huts, there's like a... There's all these cute girls from college who come to work in the huts for the summertime. But we managed to get to this party with a bottle of absinthe. It turned slightly into this like weird orgy type scene. Um, she, she's 18. <laughs> and she just falls flat on her face, just pass out drunk. <laughs> she's yours, take her, I, I had no idea. That and there's like a DJ and everybody's got their clothes off. And, and at the time I'm thinking, okay, that's great because this other girl's so young. I'm psyched. There's like attics in all the huts, you know, where there's like yeah. supplies, there's like canned goods and stuff. It's a very romantic setting. Yeah. <laughs> God, if this is on any fucking website or okay, anywhere, we got, we got two different God, angles covered. I will fly to Chamonix and kill both of you. You guys really filming this? <laughs>